welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, we're going to be doing When a Hoarder Tries the Kamari Method Part 8. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder, and I explain how my hoarder mind works and how I have attachment to things, and I show you all my mess. <laughs> but I conceal my identity by putting sunglasses on and the phone in front of my face because I'm still uh, too vulnerable to tell the world that it's me, and this is all my crap. <laughs> <laughs> but back to the episode. So yes, we're continuing the Kamari method. Now last week we did makeup and dabbled in a little bit of skincare. So I figured next on the list would be more like our toiletries, like hair, shampoos, um, and all that kind of stuff. So I went for the linen closet because that's been messy for a while and I've been wanting to get in there and pull everything out and organize it and just make that look a lot better. So, and I also went to Dollar Tree this episode, but I didn't record actual Dollar Tree, but I show you the pieces that I picked out from Dollar Tree. And I must admit, they have some nice stuff for a dollar and it turned out really good. So yes, I see why all those uh, Dollar Tree organizations and, and crap things are popular YouTube videos because they actually do have some really nice stuff that you can work with and not spend like a gazillion dollars at Container Store. No offense, Container Store. Just saying, I'm on a budget. <laughs> but yes, that's what I'm going to work on. I'm going to really focus on that linen closet on this episode. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, guys, there it is, the bathroom linen closet. <laughs> right next to the bathroom. So let's open it up and see what surprises await us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on in there. And I'm going to be absolutely positively honest with you guys. This linen bathroom closet has not been cleaned out since, oh my gosh, it's never been cleaned out. <laughs> like, we moved here in like the early 2008. And I have never taken everything out of here. I've added stuff. I might have taken one or two things out, but I never emptied it out to give it a full clean so whatever is under there like on the bottom is going to be horrific so all right so what we're going to do is this is all like bathroom sheets towels all that kind of stuff so we're going to be pulling out you know soaps and hair stuff and whatever the heck is going on in here <laughs> towels blankets you name it i yay yay <laughs> and i don't really know how to be organized i sort of do i've been looking at a lot of pinterest things i've been loving all the advice that i get from my subscribers on how to be organized but i'm going to try my best to do that but my god this stuff in here seriously er, er, yeah so toothpaste is getting pulled out toilet paper is getting pulled out contact stuff is getting pulled out um yeah so all right let's uh let's start doing it <laughs> okay so i'm probably gonna fast forward a lot of the taking out of all the stuff <laughs> and i was thinking with this middle shelf that has all the little smaller stuff that i have i was thinking maybe i should get one of those little shelf stands you know what i mean that goes in the middle not a tall one like a short one and that way i can have stuff on top and then some stuff underneath just to give me like a little more room again i'm a hoarder i'm not <laughs> I kind of struggle with organizing stuff and I know I got to put everything together like it'd be best to put the hair all together and the toothpaste in all one spot so all right let's I'm gonna let me start pulling everything out This is what 11 years of never, ever cleaning out your linen closet looks like on the floor. This is really embarrassing, guys. But again, I want to show you guys everything. This is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. But that's okay, right? Because 
we're doing it now and it's going to get clean and it's going to look so much nicer and I can already start to see the shelves looking nicer but oh my goodness for now let's vacuum this up <laughs> Okay, we cleared out that closet, except I wanted to show you one little thing. Guess that what that is? A little toy. There is a toy in every single room of my house. I can't believe I found two or three. I found a couple toys in the linen closet. Yes, this house is overran by toys, but I had to share that with you. But yeah, so it looks pretty nice empty like this. I have not seen it like this since the day we moved in. So I'm gonna go ahead and give those shelves like a really good wipe down and then I gotta start organizing all the stuff. All right guys, there it is. All laid out. I gotta ask, why do I do this again? <laughs> why do I make these videos? <laughs> this is a lot. This is, oh my gosh. There is so much stuff going on here, but I mean, luckily, there's not really too much sentimental attachment to a lot of this stuff. I mean, there will be one or two when it comes to, like, baby washcloths. Yes, you heard me right. And, like, maybe some of the things when they were younger. The kids stuff, of course. But everything else is pretty much what can I toss that's expired or old or cruddy or <laughs> what have you. So that part should be fairly easy to go through and then we got all the sheets and some of the linens and towels and again this isn't every towel in my house there's towels and blankets and linens probably stored everywhere but for now we're just tackling what was in that closet and i kid you not a majority of this stuff was in that that linen closet which is like shocking but maybe not <laughs> so all right, um, I did try doing it by categories, sort of. Like here's nail and tissue and little kid stuff and like medicine creamy kind of things and actual trash that I could find right away. And we also have, what do we have over there? Uh, samples, some hair, some soaps, body washes, deodorants. So I tried as I pulled it out, there's eye stuff. I did try doing it into categories already. And oh my gosh, just look at that. Just look at that site. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed on how to organize it all, but I'm going to probably take a break because I feel like my anxiety is pretty high. I'm going to take a break, look on Pinterest and get some ideas. <laughs> I'm stopping for a minute because my hoarder heartstrings are really pulling at me. Came to the soap and see this little poinsettia soap right there? Can't get rid of it. You know how old this is? Very, very old. I got this from Avon. These were Christmas ones. Here's a fall one. When I first got my apartment and it reminds me of that first experience of being like an adult and I put them in a little dish in my, you know, in the, in the bathroom because I wanted to appear grown up. What year does this little Avon thing say? See that? 2002. <laughs> I can't bring myself to toss this out. I have to keep it and it's okay right I I'm doing this in baby steps I'm a hoarder and I'm doing what my heart can handle and right now this is what I can handle is still holding on <laughs> to dear life these soaps I don't know why I'm, I'm just I can feel like if I let this go then a panic attack would come and I'm gonna show you this over here same over here this little Hello Kitty thing, very, very old. Used to put my contacts in it. I love it. Guess what? I'll wash it off, but I'm not throwing it out. It's worn. It's, it's, look at the, the paint. Everything is worn, but I remember this. This is the same time period, 2002, and I loved it. Ah! <laughs> I just can't let myself to let go. Oh, and let me just show you this. 
This is something I want to transition to because I, you saw my soaps and gels and stuff. I want to start using bar soaps more. My friend that I know, she doesn't know I'm really doing this, but she makes these organic soap products really good stuff so i just i'm giving yes i'm actually giving her a little like shout out <laughs> because i love her products and i want to do more bar soaps because it's zero waste right because i started changing over to um try to be a little more conscious and not throwing away all those bottles so we started transitioning to bar soap so all right guys enough of my spiel let's keep going what is trash this is paper trash stuff that has been expired that we can't use anymore and legitimately I found something if you can read it oh well, you can't really read it it says 2008 is when it expired I swear that's crazy and I'm trying to figure out the best way to recycle at least like the paper component recyclables try and pick the containers and the recyclables and it's just sad because it's such a it's such a waste. There's things that are full in there. And it's just, ah, that kind of breaks my heart. Like these things should have been used up and I didn't. And ah, I'm just gonna do my best to keep it out of a landfill. But I, I don't know, I'll recycle as much as I can. But all right guys, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna move on to all the towels and the sheets now. Okay, so now we're moving on to the linens. <laughs> Linens and towels and sheets and all that kind of stuff. And just by looking through this, um, I think this is going to be fairly easy. See, this right here, do you know how old this sheet set is? College. And it's like hard and not comfortable and I have not used it in, I don't know, well over a decade we haven't used it because they're not comfortable. They're old and just, just not very nice. Same with this. This is really just as old as well. So I feel pretty good letting these go. And what I'm going to do is the animal shelter is always asking for towels and sheets and all that kind of stuff for the animals. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it to the animal shelter, bring my kids. They would love to go to that. And this is some beach towels. Oh, Lightning McQueen. That used to be his favorite. So yeah, this shouldn't be too hard and it shouldn't really be too emotional. Like here's another one that I can totally go ahead. That goes to that set over there. The, the first pillowcase you saw, this shouldn't be too, too hard, except I just saw something that would. <laughs> it's right over here. This and this, my littlest. I remember him wearing this. I'm trying to pull it so you guys can see it. It's like a little monkey towel. It was so cute. He would wear it over and see the little monkey. And I remember he wore it at the pool and everyone would see him walk and he was like two and everyone was like, oh, he's so cute. That one's hard. <laughs> this one might not be able to pass forward. I'm not ready yet for that one, but I'm feeling really good about the other stuff. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing and probably speed through this as well. Shira pillowcase, My Little Pony pillowcase, and a Cabbage Patch Kid beach towel, all vintage from when I was a little girl. This is something that I cannot part with. And I'm finding as me as a hoarder that the longer I've had the item, the much, much harder it is for me to let go. And I'm curious, do you, do other feel, hoarders feel like that too? The longer the item has been in your life, the, it's just extremely like, it almost feels impossible to let go. I'm just curious about that. I mean, the shorter I've had things, much easier, much easier to let those things go. But all right, um, I'm going to start folding stuff now. Okay, so now we're going to, start folding the towels and linens and putting them back in the closet. Now, in the audiobook, I don't remember her saying how to fold 
towels. I remember, you know, the shirts and, you know, seeing the pants and all that kind of stuff, but I don't remember like towels. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna kinda do, like she likes to fold things in like rectangles and then a trifold. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'll kind of go like this, make that square. And then I'll fold it up so it makes that rectangle and smooth that out. And then I think we'll go like this and like that. And I mean, that looks pretty good. I mean, hey, that's good for me. Uh, that'll be nice. And then you kind of have this going on. And yeah, I think I'll do it this way, but if you guys have any other like ways that you guys fold towels the best way, leave a comment below and let me know. For now, I'm gonna do it like this i think but yeah all right guys so this is what i'm letting go and this is a nice amount so let me show you right in here everything in here is just straight up trash because it's expired it's just no good i'm going to recycle as much as i can here is new stuff that we just have so much of and what i'm going to do is i'm going to donate this to my best friend's food bank that her and a bunch of other people had created because they take to toiletries. And I might re-gift these little Crayola crayons. I don't know, because they're really nice. And then up here, here are the linens and towels that I'm letting go of. Now I am gonna keep a couple of them because we're going to be getting guinea pigs. So I am gonna keep a couple of them, but the rest are gonna go to the animal shelter because they're always looking for sheets and towels. And I'm excited. This is a lot of stuff coming out of the linen closet. And now I can start to put everything back. Okay, went on Pinterest, saw a lot of really cute pins of linen closet organization, but their closets are way bigger than mine. And a lot of that stuff's from Container Store, and that store's pretty expensive. So I went to Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my best to replicate those pretty uh, linen closets, but yeah, using Dollar Tree things. So I went and got this. I thought this was really cute contact paper, and it is actually from the contact company, so I'm gonna line the shelves with that. I got these little um, shelves uh, right there that I can put, the little cabinet shelf. This, maybe I can use it, maybe I can't. This, I just grabbed a couple of pieces because I wasn't sure what was gonna work and what wasn't gonna work. And then these, I thought they were cute. And I mean, heck, for a dollar, you can't go wrong. And I also went to Hobby Lobby and I grabbed this to go on the bottom. Now this is actually, this was 40% off. And then this was just so cute. I love this, it was 40% off too, but it was so cute. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. I hope I do, I hope I can use it, but I just loved it, so I grabbed it. <laughs> so yeah, here are my pieces. So I'm gonna do my best to make this linen closet look pretty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cleaning this out. But guess what I found in my hoarded laundry room? Yes, <laughs> I found this these labels that I made a long time ago with my Cricut machine. And this is like chalk like board contact paper. Seriously, you can use the chalk on this. So what I can do is I can take these old stickers off, put that on, and then I can label it. And I get so excited. It's like I hit like the like the, the hoarder jackpot. I found something that I hoarded away and I can use it for now and save money. So woohoo, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so my husband put on that Dollar Tree uh, contact paper for me and it looks really, really good. Now he does a lot better than I do. I just, uh, contact paper is just like my, my enemy because I cannot get the bubbles out, but he did a really good job and this really, changes it like this looks really good so i'm going to start putting the organizational pieces back in <music> I mean, the top is still pretty stuff, but that's okay. It looks better than when it did. But yeah, this looks way, way better. So down here, 
I go ahead and went, put all the toilet paper and like flushable wipes in there. And then each one of these is individually labeled like first aid, shaving and nail care, dental and toiletries. Here's all the sheets that are put away. We downsized a lot of them because the other one had a lot of just missing pieces. This was the best I did for this. And these little bins I got at Dollar Tree too. I had already had them though. But here I put all the eye care stuff. Here's hair care. This I couldn't really figure out what to do. So this is like body wash for the kids. And then there's like our bar soaps underneath here. This is just kind of like miscellaneous and then another body wash that fit um, up here. And the one thing that I like about this is that I'm going to make sure I use all of this stuff up before we purchase any of it. So now that I actually know what we have, I don't have to buy it. I can use it up and that saves me money because I'll use it up before it expires. And then let me get the stool. I wanna show you right up here. I'm a little short. <laughs> so right up here what I did is, in this little thing, I just pulled it out. These are like cleaning cloths in here, like your Microsoft or microfiber you know, wipes to clean. And then up here is washcloths. And then here's just like regular hand towels. Over here is like the bath towels. And then up here was just, that's a pillow. That's a, a blanket in case somebody sleeps over, which now my boys are excited about because the house is getting cleaner so they can have people over. You know, this is just also miscellaneous towels. And yeah, that was the stuff I wasn't ready to let go. The baby towels and my childhood towels. I just, I wasn't ready to let it go. But overall, this looks really, really good. And I'm I'm glad the way this like came out because I'm not the most organized person. And I think I think I did pretty good. So guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. And I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.